my child, what is this child going to do? This child is not going to be there. But it is our responsibilities as an educator to be able to meet that child where that child is. So, for example, as a special education teacher, you can have the rights of kids. Every child is unique in his or her own way. Mm. Now, the educator now asks the professional or must professionally be able to talk to parents. Mm. And then parents can also take it from the school and observe and go and order of the child's environment. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes the kid is like this in school, the parent the child is like this at home. So if we all don't come together as one, the doctors, the physical therapists, special speech therapists, whichever professional that child sits, if we don't come together as one, concern that child, our goal to be separate. Mm -hmm. and to be difficult to be consistent with that child and to help that child. So educators are key. They are the point of, first point of reference to a child of school age and especially, and they are the ones that will build on that child and to be able to communicate to parents and other professionals and see the child off on how to better help the child. And if mm -hmm. something is not working right, they can switch it around and turn it to get other uh, means of helping the child. Okay, so what you're saying now is that um, the first point of contact for, for, for raising an alarm should be an educator because this child spent so much time with you during the day and you should incorporate into your practice as a teacher to observe your pupils and it is through this observation you'll be able to know what they can do and what they cannot do and for what they can do measured with the norms and the milestones or for their age then you will be able to come to a conclusion that this child perhaps have special needs and then you can refer that child to another agent you know government agency No. That's very no professional. Yeah. Until that child is diagnosed yes. by a professional in that area, mental health psychiatrists, the doctor, psychologist, but the only the thing that the educator wants to do is to show yeah. this is what I observed. Yes. Now you can take it along with you. Because um, I noticed most of our educators in underdeveloped countries, they want to label that child. Yes, they want to label. Never label any child. Never label yes. any child. in the classroom right let's talk about best practices whereby you have a bunch of children about 15 to 20 in number you know that they are not all equal when it comes to ability even age you know um, the way they, they, they manipulate their physical body will be totally different so what are the sort of what are the special um, what 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 are the um, best practices in the classroom for an educator? I'm not talking of a special education needs yeah. teacher now. I'm talking of an ordinary teacher because I was a teacher for over 20 years in the UK, and I knew and I know at the time that I had to go for some training in basic special education needs so that I can identify and I was taught some skills to, 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 to use in the classroom to ensure that best practices are being maintained. Can, you, can, we, can we discuss that then? Can we list some of those yes. um, skills? So, number one, first of all, I will say for all these best practices, you have to be a passionate teacher. Hmm. Teaching is not just a career that you want to go into because you need a job mm -hmm. or you want money. If not, you're going to be frustrated out of it and every day will be like hell for you. And <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> so number one, you have to be passionate about 
Okay. Passionate? Now, number two, you need to know your students. Yeah. You cannot just be passionate about what you
And um, I believe that we are supposed to work together, to continue to work together until we change the landscape of education in Nigeria. Thank you so much. Do you have any parting shots? Because we have just five more minutes to go. I can't hear you. Wow. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. It's a resource that you can use for the Spider uh, Education the YouTube channel is a resource it's free that you can use not just for yourself. So you go on YouTube sometimes my YouTube channel spend every day and watch out for the Yoruba or spend every day. Well I'll be talking in my talent about special needs. This is my passion and I'm glad of the busy and I'll be brought me on to talk about this. I can keep going forever. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, my darling. Thank you so much and please remember, keep safe and keep everybody around you safe. I hope to, to call you back very soon. Take care. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Yes. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. And um, uh, we are coming up again um, next week. We are going to be having um, a businessman, an entrepreneur, and we are going to be talking to him about the skills that employers are looking for. What are the skills that employers are looking for? I'm so sorry. Uh, about all the questions, please can you DM all your questions to me? Can you send them, send them to at School Run Academy and we can send it to Bola Titofatoki and we will definitely respond. I'm so sorry we were not able to touch on all the questions that our viewers have put forward. Thank you so much for joining me. Next week we're going to be talking about employability. Do we have enough job or is it that our youth are unemployable? Do they have the skills that employers are looking for? If not, what are those skills? Perhaps you can join us and learn one or two things for that cousin of yours, for that niece or nephew of yours, for that child of yours. Maybe you may be able to get some tips from a renowned entrepreneur, the CEO of Trip Berry Limited. We are also going to have some other people joining. Please look at our promo on at School Run Academy on Instagram. Thank you so much. So long. And on that note, I say see you on Friday. Thank you everyone. Bye bye. Love you and do stay safe. Thank you.